people are going to be like, that same cup is in the same spot. Yeah, I mean, you know, stuff happens. Indeed. Welcome back, guys, to the wonderful world of Japan Crate with me and Nico. And me being Mason or Skinless Barton. It depends on what you want to call me. I am looking at the screen and not the camera. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to start off today with, uh, it looks like a special version of Japan Crate. It is very late. I got this, I think this is one month before October. September's uh, Japan Crate. It's, good, it's been one of those days. Yeah. <laughs> this is September's Japan Crate. And, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything by saying what month it is right now, but I'm pretty sure you'll get it when this is uploaded. Anyway, we're going to open this up and see what happens here. See, they won't know because we, we recorded this beforehand. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, we just won't tell them that. I totally don't have a few of these stacked up. We're, we're going to edit that out, right? We're going to um, edit that out. Anyway. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So this is a Tony Hawk. It's upside down, but most of America, most of you guys probably read it. This is a Tony Hawk version. Why? I have no idea. Yeah, I want, why do they pick Tony Hawk out of, like, everything? I don't know. Anyway. I'm excited. Gonna... <laughs> I like Tony Hawk. Yeah, and, and I, I like food, so I hope Tony Hawk's food is good. I, I liked, uh, what was it, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the, for the was PlayStation. Like, yeah, it's like the PlayStation 1. Yeah. Gotta love Moon Physics. That was my favorite cheat code. DIY Flan. Please tell me that's not in here. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you can't, you're reading the book. You're not supposed to read the book until the end, remember? Bad Spartan. Anyway. <laughs> Bad Spartan. Mason. It doesn't matter. Mason. So we're uh, starting off, I guess, with this one, which is gum. I think it's gum. Literally, it just says gum. There's there. This way. There's gum. Um, there's some stuff there. Okay. You want to help some, pull some stuff out of the box? Oh. I'm guessing this is just like the chocolate ones we had a few other a uh, few times ago, maybe last time. I don't remember. But this time it's coconut. They're like Ooh. little star-shaped. I think they're popcorn snacks. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of afraid of this one. Picola. Yeah. I'm not, not totally sure what this one is. It looks like those those little wafer straws that you get. Yeah. Like the chocolate ones. This it's one. Like, it, it looks like mango or something. Yeah. I didn't hear that. Did you? I I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> Onward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Small um, pack of gum. Whatever the heck this is, probably gum. I, you can't see the picture at all because of the glitter, but there's a little picture of some cats in a bowl. Because that's where I'd put my cat. Yep. In a bowl. So what's this one? It's drink. I like the drinks. The fire ice coffee. No thanks. <laughs> I I I'll, that. I'll, try, I'll try it. I'll, I'll try anything once. Um, or twice. Yeah, we'll do the toys last. Um, <clears throat> I think we got another cheese ball snack. Oh. Cheese ball snack. The, the Japanese seem to like their cheese balls. Because we've had two? Yeah. Two, <laughs> okay. two seems like a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah, Americans so there's are that. It help if we could read it, but it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm pretty sure the Americans are much worse with their cheese balls. Literally. Cheesy. Whatever this is. Um, hair dye. <laughs> Probably not. When this video is over, my hair will be white. <laughs> um... Yeah, so there's that, and then there's a uh, heart chipple. I kinda think like they're meat-flavored little crackers. Ooh. I'm not sure, they're heart-shaped, I think. That's why I called heart chipple. I didn't even see that it was. It said that on the side. I was like, wow, your Japanese has gotten really good. <laughs> no, <clears throat> this legit just says heart chipple. And I don't know what this is, but it's just an anime chick. Sitting there hugging some green thing with a little bear on the bottom. I've seen this before. You can't open this arm, kids. Um, <laughs> I know one of these that I'm not trying. Oh no! We had one kind of just like this, except it was corn flavored. I don't know if you guys remember. I think it was from the very first one. I I've actually had these before. Um, except this one's green, which makes me think it's like a sweet pea or something. Yeah, these are um. So no it's a uh, was it a demi? A demi flavored crackers. And this is a lollipop. You can, you can tell. It's a, it, this could also be wasabi, maybe. Lollipop. 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 Fuvia Home Pie. That's what this is. It's a blue packet, little thing. There's a lot in here this time. ABC Message Cookie. 
little alphabet crackers or cookies, I guess. This is another you have to cook it. One. Yep, this is the <laughs> DIY flan that I they do read terrible from with these the book. every time. Hey, at least they gave us freaking instructions this time. All the other times, like, hey, read the back of the package, loser. We did this wrong. And it actually looks like they gave us a toy. I'm not going to spoil what it is quite yet by showing you the front, but Birdhouse, Tony Hawk style. I'm going to turn this upside down so you can't see it and put it in the back. Let's get this out of the way. We almost hit the cat. The what? I don't know you brought a cat over, but I don't have one. <laughs> there's one in here. I think there's a problem we need to assess before continuing this video. <laughs> All right. I totally saw a cat. So you can I choose where we start this time with our pile Ooh. of goodies. So am I picking stuff for you to try? Or am I picking stuff I have to try? Well, we both have to try it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I, we'll, we'll wait on that one. <laughs> I'm actually curious on this one. Oh, the heart, the heart chipple. Yeah, I fell over it. All you, buddy. And remember the scissors this time, so we don't have to run away and try to find them. Don't we usually edit that out? Maybe? Next. <laughs> oh, come on, it can't be that bad. Oh. It sticks in your sinuses. Oh, I it's, can't. In your, it's in my brain. <clears throat> Oh, come on, these are gonna be great. I think I know what this is. This is either made from rice or pig skin. It One smells horrible. I don't <laughs> care what it's made out of. Uh, we have these here, um, the pork skins. It, it tastes like beef ramen noodles. That's literally all it tastes like. Yeah. Mm. That smell it's is interesting, but it's not horrible. Not as bad as the smell. Yeah, the smell is intense, the flavor not so much. Well, mm. it, it's just like somebody took rice cakes and personally I give it like over. four. And all of our ratings are out of 10, by the way. Unless yeah. we give it something special. <laughs> One out of 17. Why do they do that? Yeah. No, that's a four for me. I, I don't know, I, I give it a five. It's not great, it's not bad. Alrighty. I'm gonna go with the gum, the first one we picked, because I need to get that nasty flavor out of my mouth. <laughs> That's why I grabbed water. I do have water, thank you. Water is a big flavor. I think it's lemon, for sure. <laughs> and I think it's supposed to be sour. You can tell by the white. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's pretty much white. Which usually means there's a sour powder. Yeah. Not really a, a little bit. Not really. I think about half as sour as one of those uh, lemon heads. Yeah. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. I'd give that like a 7 or an 8. I love candy, so I'm going to say 10. These all day. Oh, man. That was gum. Yeah, no, it's not anymore. I... <laughs> it's just candy. Missed the memo. Your turn. Well, Bings, you opened the last two. Oh, yeah. True enough. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. You didn't I'm... stop me to say, yeah. hey, I want to open the gum. So. I didn't want to be difficult. I'm kind of hoping this is, like, Pocky. I don't know. It definitely smells sweet. I'm thinking, like, mango and vanilla. That's broken. Um, this That's smells... Broken. I know this smell. <laughs> kind of smells them. like the Trident Layers gum. Yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> like mango or maybe even peach. It's good though. Yeah, it's good. I give it a seven. I give that an eight. Mm. Those are good. Indeed. So, I don't know how well you guys saw the actual snack. So you a they're, broken they're, one, but they're all broken. It's, it's pretty much just like a like a wafer straw. In the in the it's a flavored wafer straw. Okay, I'm just to get that guy out now. This guy, and I'll let him open the second one I, to, to make up for the yeah, the make up for me opening up twice. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Uh, it just... It smells like a shortbread cookie. No, it actually smells really good. Mm. Yeah, it's just a shortbread cookie. It's nice, though. Not a lot of flavor, but it definitely smells really sweet. It's kind of like those cookies you get around Christmas time here in uh, America. Mm. The, the, the tins. Yeah, the tins are a little like the yeah. sweet Christmas, except it has like a hint of cinnamon. It's like way in the back of your mouth. You can, you can like... Yeah. Almost you like you can smell, smell it. it. Yeah. You know those things that like you eat? You can't really taste it until you swallow. And so it kind yeah. of feels like a smell. Uh, it is six, maybe seven. Um, yeah, yeah I'll, give it like, I'll, I'll do a solid six and a half. I wouldn't eat. I mean, I wouldn't buy it on purpose, but if it was there, I'd eat it. Sure. Yeah, you know, I think the tins are great, but I never buy them. My, my parents were big into those yeah, when I was a kid. My parents did too. <laughs> Let me pick. I guess we'll pick. Let's go to coconut ones. Cool. I like me some coconut. Do you? Yeah. I thought you didn't like coconut. We're gonna have to take the label off. Just ignore this, guys. It's alright. Well, it looks like that. We didn't really show you the little cookie things, so there's only two of them, so we can't, but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a little white star. Those are weird. Yeah? But... Yeah. They almost taste mushy. Like, almost. It's like they put a lot of frosting on it. And it doesn't taste like cookie. No, it's like I'm kind of getting a hint of that in, the, in, the, in like, the back. Those are yeah. Um... That wasn't actually bad, though. No, it wasn't un... <coughs> Six Excuse or seven, me. just like the last one, probably. I'd, I'd give it like a four and a half, five. I don't like the fact that it almost feels wet. I can't stand that. Like, like when, when somebody puts... Well, it's like when you put too much ketchup on your burger, and the bun just gets soggy. I don't... I don't know, you don't eat ketchup, you don't eat ranch. Anyway... <laughs> Just toss it on the ground. Who cares? Um. So I guess we'll do the apple cookies, the alphabet ones. And, um, yeah. I'm kind of That's afraid. A, it's like a sour. Kind of smells like oh, bad yeah. juice. Yeah, or, or like, um, what was it, the Amaretto coffee creamer when it's gone bad. I don't drink coffee either. No, that legit, um... I'm, I'm afraid. I don't know how long you guys have ever kept Kool-Aid in your fridge, but this kind of smells like bad Kool-Aid. Kind of tastes like it should. <laughs> they're, they're not great. Yeah, that's a four. <laughs> oh, I'd give that like three. I mean, two and a half. there's not much taste, but the taste that it does have is like that Kool Aid. Oh man, we're going through this pretty quick. Yeah, but we still got quite a few left though. Six, seven if you include that one. Alrighty, your turn. Uh, kind of curious on the drink. That's a loner one. I'm not drinking it. No? Probably not. Uh, I'm thinking it's just gonna be like cinnamon flavored iced coffee. I can smell it though. It definitely smells like coffee. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm not drinking that. Sorry guys, I don't no? drink coffee. Sure you want me to get you a little glass? I'm sure. I have to wash the other cup. I'll take that as a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it just it tastes like gas there. station coffee that's just been yeah. around too Yeah, it's long. gonna make my apartment smell like coffee, but that's okay. Uh, there are worse smells that you can have in your apartment. Yeah, not really. Okay. Luckily, your house always smells nice. I can still I don't smell funny today, but it's in there. Uh, it does now. So, next one we're doing is this guy. Um, you can't see it, but 
So say it looks like a hair dye. I don't know if any of you guys can read Japanese or decide to use Google Translate and somehow find these kanji and stuff, but um Yeah. Looks like there's a some type of thing written here in the dingy. I don't know if it's instructions on how to eat it properly, but I'm gonna say screw it because I can't read it. Hopefully it's like oh don't that. don't do this. <laughs> do not eat. Not for consumption. Toy sushi. <laughs> Do not Reference cut in half. Our old video. <laughs> Do not cut in half and share with your buddy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it smells nice though. You mm. have no idea how long I laughed about that. Yeah, they're nice. They look funny. Whoa, that is not what I was expecting to feel. Is it spongy? Not really, but it's weird. It, it almost feels like an old crouton. Cube. A wet cube. It's a frosted cracker. You know, it's almost just like these little white stars. Yeah. Same basic idea. Here you go. Merry Christmas. It's kind of like... Except it tastes like the inside of a... You know those, like, uh... The wafer cookies are kind of... Yeah, where it's like the wafer on the top and the bottom has, like, cream filling in it. Yeah, yeah. It, That's like it, the vanilla it almost tastes just like those. Yeah. Except the fillings on the outside. It's not. It's not bad. I mean, I, I'll give it five, five, like a five, five and a half. Cool. You're done. Ooh. I feel like we should get this one out of the way now. Yeah. Well, we still have some other stuff to wash it down with. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm worried this is like wasabi flavored. Oh, they sell this guy. See, because like I love spicy food, but I cannot stand wasabi. Do you guys remember the it. first one that we did? The wasabi nori. Yeah, the wasabi nori. No thanks. Oh, that mm. was. I didn't like it. You didn't. Uh, <laughs> the wife didn't like it. My son didn't like it. Trash didn't even like it. Not wouldn't be surprised if that thing burned a freaking hole through my trash bag. It just yeah, it just, it just smells like a demi. It's actually incredibly subtle. I thought it was going to be intense. And it's not wasabi. It's like a Demi Crackers. It's nasty, though. <laughs> I'd give it like a 7. I like it. Okay. Well. All you, homie. Next is this the teeny guy. The cat bowl. Or cat cup or whatever. Little, little candy gum. So we're gonna cut this one in half. Yes, yes we are. Yeah, because we're not gonna do a lady in the trap. Oh, sorry. There's two of them. Oh, nice. Lucky us. Oh no, it's already written half. Um, there you go. <laughs> because you're gonna share with your friend. So it's just like that. It's a little white thing. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, just, it's just like it, it's just gum. It's good gum. Solid eight. Mine has a message. It's probably like fortune gum or something. Or like mm -hmm. bazooka gum from back in the day. I don't know how old most of you guys are. Those were good. Or if you're from America. Yeah. yeah. yeah mine says great things are coming to me. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Anyway, um... <laughs> yeah. So, who next? Swallowed a lot more gum than I should today. Two. I'm gonna go with these. Yeah, it's a lot more gum than you should swallow. Swallow all my gum. <laughs> well, gummer is made out of pla gum. Gum gummer. Wow. Gum is made out of plastic and rubber. What on earth is that? I don't know, but it's breaking. Oh boy. So that's that thing. Um. Big tube of no. Here things. you go. That's another seaweed one. Mmm. That's another note for me. Oh, Sorry. come on. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You have water. You'll be fine. Water does not wash away flavor. It washes away texture sometimes. <laughs> That's not making me want to do it. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> There's a gouge in my table. Oh, right oh, come on, man. You, you'll be good. Oh, Oh god, it's insane. 
Solid 10 for me. It's so overpowering, I taste it from <laughs> touching my tongue to the tip. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> just licked it and I can already taste it. No thanks. Oh, uh, that is insane. It's like, it's like garlic seaweed. That's all I can taste. I ain't doing it. Yeah, that was a good idea. Okay. <clears throat> and while he's suffering through his own stupidity, yeah, personal torment, I'm going to open up these cheese balls next. Cheese balls! I think that's one of those things either you'll get used to or you're just like, mm-mm. Yeah, not, not happening. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to get used to food. You just kind of like it when you eat it, or you don't. Not true. I've had fish head soup before. It took me, you know. Yes, but why would you keep eating it if you don't like it? It's not like you were forced to. But my parents made it. I had no choice. Is that an onion? Oh, tell me that's an onion. This just got more fun. Smell it. I don't know what Why it is. Why does everything from Japan smell like ramen noodles? Because <laughs> everything in Japan is ramen noodles. Well, I don't, I don't think, like, ramen Young noodles actually... flavored ramen noodle? Ramen noodle flavored ramen noodle? <laughs> so, so that's the thing, is I don't think ramen noodles actually comes from Japan. It's just how everything smells. It tastes like ramen noodle. It yeah, like, it kind of tastes just like the hard chip, the chip lay from the first one. Damn. It's almost like like they mix the oriental flavor and the beef flavor together. And again, it's four. I, I, I give it a five or a six. It's not bad. I don't think we rated the last few, so we'll just go with... Um, the bad ones are probably really low, and the good ones are probably pretty high. That sounds fair. Alright, so we only have technically... I guess four things left. Uh, one sucker, one do-it-yourself plan, so pudding. Um, Suckers are all... The toy, always... and the book. So, I guess I'll lick the tip of this guy here for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, there's something funny on the book. Cover. You wouldn't understand. What kind of flavor is this? <laughs> it's yellow dog flavored. Oh, it's like... Banana vanilla pudding flavor. I mean, it's not bad. Kind of, kind of like a not as bad toned down version of the popcorn dum dums. That's weird. Yeah, well, that's interesting. I'm not done yet. I thought we. Oh, that's right. We, we have do the... it yourself pudding. You didn't see that. It's okay. If I did it, you can do it too. So. We technically have to take the book with us unless you want it. Eh, you know what? Screw the instructions. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. That's what we've done with all the other ones, and it seems more fun. So we'll be back to you guys in a moment once we cook this stuff up, and hopefully it turns out better than the jelly butt or the jelly yeah. Mario. The Mario was bad, or anything else that we had to cook ourselves. I don't know. The Jello butt wasn't bad. A little weird, but all right. I mean, it was a butt. So before we go, though, I'll show you what we got inside. They gave us a little bowl. That's cool. Yeah, better than all the other ones. Um, so it looks like we got... This is... Looks like a little molding. So we can... Oh yeah, just like it shows on the package there. Yeah, let's say it shows on the back. Um, it's like a, it's a little molding thing that we stab on the top of the pudding. Only in Japan, where you can make your own cake and stamp it. The pudding... Mixtures. I don't know which one's which. There's like a flavor and stuff, but just legit just these ones. We're gonna wing it from the back of the bag instructions. All right, all I all I can read are numbers. Let's do this, and we'll be back. Oh yeah. It was calling for CCs, and I was like, that's like like baby medication. Was like, well, I figured you would just know, not that I'd have to convert it. Your mom. I'd... Well, the, the recipe calls for a hundred cc's of milk. I'm... I don't know these things. The Japanese do, apparently. 
fucking no, I'm not over here doing drugs. No, we're over here filming the next episode. Yeah, we're, we're over here playing with milk. Alright, thank you. Bye. Love you. Okay, guys, so... I think that's gonna take a bit and sit in the fridge. So, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna look through the book. It's gonna, gonna, gonna to rest for, like, what, three minutes? I have no idea. Something. It said a three on there by a, a picture of what we think is a refrigerator. So... Sounds fair. Well, there was a two there, for sure. I don't think we're getting into the, getting to the, the, this episode. It's two, hours. Two hours in the fridge. Oh, no. So, Wait, next Wait, remember the time. first one that came out really, really wet? Maybe that's what that meant, was like two hours? Yeah. We're like, two minutes. Two minutes sounds good for a snack. So, two hours. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Um... Should we do a heads up? Like, probably we get next time. And next time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably let you know exactly how that turned out in the next episode. Like, the next recording, we'll let you know. Yeah. We may, we're probably gonna have a recording of it anyway. So we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll clip that in somewhere. Later. But for now, <laughs> we're just gonna let that sit. So, uh, after the uh, recipe, or the instructions for making that, I guess because I'm technically reading this. English, but backwards to the Japanese. There's pictures of a bunch of people with the uh, Tony Hawk Japan crate, including one of Tony Hawk himself. Um, or, I guess these are all of Tony Hawk himself. I can't really tell. But, yeah, a bunch of pictures. I still remember that uh, that whole fiasco was going on, where it's like, they said that he had the world's first hoverboard. And he was like, like 15, 20 feet up off the air doing tricks and stuff. It was cool. And he's like, yeah, we had wires in there. Wasn't real. <laughs> Each month, one lucky subscriber is randomly chosen to win the Sugoi Crate, filled with giant candy, Japanese gadgets, toys, and gaming systems. This, uh, I guess September's Sugoi Crate came with a PlayStation 4 Slim. Nice. Final Fantasy Jacobo Plush Hello, GoPro Session, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 for the PS4. Um, I don't know what that is. Tokyo Sky Tree B at. Bear brick, four hundred percent, and a autographed skate deck. Uh, you know, would would have been kind of fun if you had won a PlayStation Four. Oh, you sure just bought a new one. one. Um, and then, of course, like usual, shows us what's inside the uh, thing. I'm gonna cover up the toy because we're gonna do that after the book. But yeah, so there's a list of what we got. Uh, there's the uh, heart chip lay. When you are craving the taste of fresh barbecued steak, but don't have the time, this is probably not the solution. <laughs> but at least they're shaped like hearts, so you can try them off. <laughs> so uh, that would be this guy. Gotta love the brutal honesty with it. That'd be this guy. Don't show the controls. No. Is it upside down? Turn it upside down. Yeah, so there's that. And then there's the Kumamon Umaibo Corn Soup Stick. Uh, which one is that? I guess that was the one with the Japanese lady. That was uh, this this one. Yeah, that one's gross. I don't think anything in this world should emulate the taste of corn soup, except actual <laughs> soup. But this was too, too weird to not share with you. Pom pom pudding, milky lollipop. That was this lollipop. The only one we got this time. Um, we got we got the, the awesome coffee. It has an edamame baked chips, which was the green poop stick. Yeah, they weren't bad. I never thought edamame... Oh, wait, I forgot to read the... Holy pop. My bad. I'm totally bad at this, guys. I'm sorry. If my pediatric dentist had given these out after visits, I would have gone every week for the games. Apparently, the person thinks it's really good. I love my bad. I never thought edamame would be anything more than a free sushi appetizer, but leave it to Japan and make it into an on-the-go snack in the form of crisps. The best part is there are no pods that come up afterwards. True, we just left to puke. The coconut star cookies, which is 
coconut star cookie. I think that weren't coconut flavored. Obvious. You like pina coladas? You tried getting caught in the rain while eating these. They're not too much into <laughs> health food. No, really, they're good. Well, they were all right. Uh, the sumiko gurashi gum. Japanese gum? Big fan. I love everything about this one, especially the creatures on the label sitting in and around the teacup drinking tea. Tastes good, too. That was the, uh, the little gum thing. I wonder if people actually do that. Be like, ah, oh, here's my gum, and then they like, set up <laughs> a little paperwork. They're like, ah, oh, I have a picture. Now I'm gonna eat it. Picola mango yogurt, in all honesty. I tried these with a dis dismissive attitude. I'm not a fan of whatever mango desserts pictured on the box, but these are good, seriously. That was the, uh... The uh, wafer sticks. Yeah, the wafer straw stick thing, the piccola. Piccola? Yep. That guy. Fuji a home pie cinnamon roll. Cinnamon. Cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll? I can't spell. Uh, that was... Which one was that? That was this guy. The little Christmas cookie thing. Mm -hmm. I think they are going more for cinnamon toast than some sort of pie, but I'll let you be the judge. It doesn't taste like anything I've ever made at home, though. Uh, Sumiko Gorashi DIY plan. Oh, that was the gum. So apparently it's supposed to taste like the gum. <laughs> DIY plan? Uh, not sure how a Mexican dessert made its way to cutesy DIY Japan or Japanese version. Fun to make, and a good dare for your friends to try. I wouldn't order it at a restaurant, though. Like that flan drink we had several episodes back? Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> that's uh, the name of the video, too. Chunky, that's all I remember. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you guys knew the DIY plan when we just went over that. Sour lemon gum. That was the, uh... Sour lemon gum. It wasn't very sour. I thought that sour candies and gum had been played out by now, considering all the variations of gummies and juicy centers. But these are just the right amount of sour to make you wince while you enjoy the lemon flavor of an long, long, long. There it is. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't very lemony. Bite-sized crispy rice treat with vanilla flavoring. That was this guy. Bite-sized crispy rice treat with vanilla flavoring. That was the Ginza Rust. Where have these been all my life? This was the fastest box to be emptied at my household. Yep, the onion puffs. What is this? I don't think the frick likes onions so much. Turn you a puff. Like richer, rounder funyuns. I used to hate onions, but then I saw this packaging and realized what a close bond they can provide for all this stuff. That's, that's actually kind of accurate. Fire ice coffee. Right there. You have to drink this ice cold or burning hot. There is no in between. It is also mandatory to play Pat Benatar's Fire and Ice Bucket Soup. Or at least, well, now it's stuck in your head for a while. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. This song wasn't playing. ABC Message Cookie. That was the, uh, the, the bad Kool Aid cookie. Ah. Use them to spell Animal Cracker, and then you'll know what they would taste like. They don't taste like Animal Crackers. You're a liar. I was gonna say, is that and literally what toy. each bag has? Like, like you can actually write out Animal Cracker? Probably. Um, it's it's like, all good toys, anything great, guys. I'm just consistent. It's, it's like the people who do the, the alphabet soup, finding out all the letters that go in there actually spell out, like, like the first five sentences of your favorite book or something. Yeah, and then there's this whole thing that Tony Hawk wrote about his love for Japanese culture, which I'm not gonna read. Just screw that. All right, now to the toy. Um, hold on a second. We're not cutting this one in half. I think it'd be kind of yeah. difficult to cut this one. In. So we'll start off with the. Oh yeah, piece of cardboard. Like business card. But then there's this. The fidget spinner, back when, you know, these were getting popular, I guess. And it's the, uh, Birdhouse, Tony Hawk's, uh, skateboard company. They, they, ca they kind of died already. And it's a skate- it's shaped like a skateboard. So yeah, there's that. Got a fidget spinner. It's my first fidget spinner ever, guys. <laughs> Yay me. So happens to be Tony Hawk. No, that's different. Yeah, it's, it's weird. You have to hold your fingers really- I have place to skateboard with you. Okay, well... It's fluid. 
It works well. It's good. We're sitting here in my house here. Ever. Anyway, so... Yeah, there's that. Uh, I guess that's all this time, since I don't... Unless you want us to eat the flan soup, I'm pretty sure we're done here. You probably want us to eat the flan soup, but I'm gonna say screw you, because I actually want to see how it turns out. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, calling, the, calling the wife. It's like, I need to know what 100 cc's of milk is. Yeah, well, She's like, are you over there doing drugs? That'll be there. Yeah. But yeah, 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 hon. Fun That's, times. So we're doing, we're, doing, we're doing drugs over here with Japanese crackers. Anyway, so that's Japan Crate number whatever the frick this was, month September. Five. I don't know. Five, six? Probably not. Fifteen? I don't know. I think it might be five because we have two up. I have technically mm. two with the 40, but one with a duplicate. The duplicate one, that's a good story that we'll probably get to in a video before this. So we're talking about it now like it has anything to do with right now, which it probably doesn't. Not at the moment. But. You know, you if you hadn't seen the one, then you'll go back to the next video, the previous video, and see what's going on. Anyway, we're done with this this uh, September's crate. Thanks for watching. It was all as always, lots of fun. We're gonna split this Indeed. up and see what goes where. I'm gonna probably throw away most of it. A couple of these, the wife's really gonna hate. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for coming by. See Subscribe. Ya.